Hi guys, this is Eliana with Why Not Redesign. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be working with moon dust. If you don't know what moon dust is, it's milk paint. And I'm gonna show you exactly what to do with this desk that I have right here. Let's get right into it. This is the piece that we're gonna be working on today. It's a vintage desk. It's pretty plain and I'm gonna be using Lily Moon's Moon Dust. It is milk paint, like I said, and milk paint is basically a water-based paint that comes in a powder form and you mix equal parts, the powder versus the, the water. And as always, beginning here by cleaning up the piece very well. And I have a tendency to overclean these pieces even when I'm going to use milk paint and I think actually at the end of the, of the uh, video you will see that cleaning them too well is actually going to be not uh, the best thing that I will do. It's going to turn out to be fine but it will change the outcome that I'm looking for. But anyways, here I am cleaning it. I use a TSP formula and or crud cutter this time. I am using crud cutter thinking that it would be best. I have uh, used milk paint before and, and use a TSP based formula to uh, clean it and did not get the results that I wanted. So this time I'm going to use something different um, for this type of, of job, but it is something that I have used before, crud cutter. Everyone knows that, you know, you mix it and then you use it. Um, I'm going to clean the drawers inside and out clean the desk all the way inside as well and then um, start applying the paint. I think this is the perfect time to again remind you to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on any videos. Continue to see me uh, cleaning this piece. Let me tell you that Lily Moon paint comes in a powder form so that you can control how thick or how thin you want the paint. You can use it as regular paint or you can use it thinner for like a wash or a stain. And you can also create texture by uh, making it thick. You can uh, seal it with hemp seed oil, furniture balm, or for extra protection, you can use a top coat. You can also use a gravity bonding agent and that way you don't get any chippiness or um, it helps basically with adhesion if you don't want to have any uh, distressing or any chippiness on your pieces. You ask yourself why I'm showing you all of this stuff in the cleaning that I'm going through? It's because it's gonna be my demise at the end of this video. So don't do this. <laughs> so here we go, like I said, we're gonna be using Moon Dust by Lily Moon Paint. It's 100% natural, non-toxic, zero VOC solvent free it is amazing basically what you do is you mix equal parts of the powder with equal parts of warm water for best results uh, you let the, the paint mixture sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before mixing it again and that ensures that all of the pigments and the ingredients are completely dissolved if you wanted to use a gravity agent or a bonding agent <laughs> rather it's called gravity by uh, Lily Moon Paint. It's a bonding agent that basically it, it ensures that you don't have chippiness, but I am not going to be doing that. I'm gonna be using water only, mix it very well. Um, I mix the contents for three to five minutes for best results. It starts to thicken up and you want to make sure that you don't have any residue of powder or little like granules of powder uh, when you pick up the paint in whatever that you're using with. I'm using a small whisk over here to mix it with. Uh, you can use a spoon, a fork, whatever you want. Next, uh, here I am allowing the mixture to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes so that it thickens up. I'll give you some extra information about Lily Moon paint. Basically, um, again, it, the formula comes in a package of six ounces and it is enough for about 35 square feet 
35 square feet. Basically, I just did this desk with the envelope that it came with. So here's the first coat and it looks very thin and scary, but that is no different than any other paint. So don't get turned off. Here it is the second um, batch that I'm mixing for coat number two. Exactly the same thing. You wanna mix it, um, let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes and then come back and apply the second coat. Already you can see where the paint is going to adhere well and where will you have where where you will have some chippiness. Or in my case, and this is where I'm gonna tell you, this piece is um, that you wanna apply milk paint in general for it doesn't matter what kind of milk paint that you're using. The shinier the piece the more chippiness that you will get at the end. So if you want something to look chippy, old world, kind of um, when the, where the paint kind of comes off, if you will, on its own, um, let the shine or the shiny piece actually be there. I think I over clean my pieces. And that's what I was telling you at the beginning. I, I just know that I over clean them and that over cleaning them, which is really hard for me not to do because I'm used to doing so, is actually what makes my pieces not be as chippy as I would like them to be. So I will be making one more piece one more time and trying to not not clean it, but I'm trying to not use any product. I think I will just use, use maybe some soapy water or even just some water and try to get the griminess of the piece. If it's shiny, it will be even better because that's where the chippiness seems to happen for other people. Again, it has not happened for me, but that is exactly what I'm testing out here. Um, I have used other products or other brands and it hasn't happened the same way and I think it's already clean. So I'm figuring it out. Here I am applying coat number two on the top. The paint applies beautifully. This color, Neptune, is gorgeous. And I love how smooth and matte uh, the paint feels and looks once it dries. You apply it just as any other paint because it is paint. It's just something that you get in a, in a powder form and mix it with water yourself. But it is paint after all. So here I am um, sanding off what will chip off or actually distress. Really what I'm doing is a, a light distress in the areas that looked lighter already. Um, the Like I said, the consistency of this paint was so smooth that I'm not really smoothing out anything because it wasn't needed. I'm just really um, trying to get as much off of the paint so that I, it looks distressed as possible. Um, I knew better. I knew better not to clean it as much but because I, I feel like that's been my problem always with milk paint but it's still going to look amazing and it doesn't matter. Um, the one thing that I wish was that all of the stuff that looks that is flying on my camera wasn't there. I don't know what it was, uh, but it's stuff is not, I don't have a fan or, or anything. I just don't know what um, is going on because that did only happen in this spot, which makes me think that it was dust. But anyways, here I am sealing and using the moon dust with hemp oil. That's what I chose to seal this with. I applied it liberally and allowed it to dry for about 20 minutes and then came back and took it um, or took you know, as much of it off as possible and then allowed it to dry overnight and came back and wiped it again after 24 hours and removed any additional excess that was on it. It deepened the color beautifully, although I do wish that I could have kept that initial color because it looked like denim and that just is a color that I absolutely love. But this looks so good. I love it. I absolutely love it. Here I am removing the excess after 20 minutes. And like I said, I let it go overnight and came back and did, that, did it again. My husband here is drilling the holes for the new hardware that I applied. I don't have the patience to do that, so he's always doing it for me. Here I am applying a balm 
uh, on the drawers just so that everything smells great um, that I conditioned the wood where it was left natural and um, just because I like to make the, the drawer smell good uh, you will see also that in after I did this I actually put paper on the top three drawers and the other drawers I decided that I was going to paint the bottoms that were clean and they were fine however I wanted a punch and color but did not want paper on all of the drawers this is a desk after all and people use it but I just wanted to give it something extra and different so here I'm applying or putting the hardware on And I have a question for you guys. Tell me in your comments, what is it when you're doing furniture, putting on the finishing touches, sanding, cleaning, what do you hate the most? Because I hate doing hardware. Because I suck, and excuse the word, but yeah, I suck at using small tools. A hammer is the worst enemy in my hands. Um, screwdrivers and pliers and all of that stuff. It's like I don't know how to use them or simply use them the wrong way maybe I don't know I hurt myself all the time I hate it hate it tell me in comments what you guys hate doing also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications and I apologize for not having posted on Sunday but I had super huge technical difficulties so let's remember what this beat up old desk used to look like and Here's how it looks now. Let's start by taking a look at the beautiful inside of the drawers. There is the paper I was talking about and then the paint complementing the paper looks beautiful and it's a more of a teal that's going to give it a nice contrast. Here's the desk. That beautiful color again Neptune by Lily Moon Paint in milk paint their milk paint line called moon dust i love the colors and the names that she put on everything too and there's the chippiness that i got that was kind of very i would say a very uh, just natural where it happened the color is absolutely deep and beautiful again i chose to top coat this with hemp seed oil you can use furniture balm or even a low luster top coat, which is also something that Lilymon Paint sells, or any top coat that you choose. Look how gorgeous that top looks. The wood under it just looks absolutely beautiful. It complements the chair very well. The hardware is brand new and it's amazing. Some old time cup holes. Look at the sides, that color. There's the chippiness again, looks gorgeous. Here's a still frame of the drawers on the inside, it looks amazing. And here we go. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, come back and see my videos on the weekly basis. And I will see you again next week, bye.